We start things off on this third day with the highest annual award bestowed by the Biophysical Society. The 2025 Biophysical Society lecturer this year is Dr. Eric Guo, and it is our honor to have him in studio with me right now. Welcome. Thank you. Well, I want to ask the huge honor, congratulations. How does it feel to be recognized by your peers? Well, it feels humbling. It feels incredibly humbling to have been selected for this honor and to know that somehow that means that people have um, appreciated the work that we've done over the years. And that's just a terrifically humbling um, honor. Everyone's captivated. You are an influential leader because of your research. Why do you think that is? Can you break down the scope of it? That's a great question. You know, I don't know, really. Um, all I can say is that what we have done over the last 25 to 30 years is to try to understand the molecular basis of signaling between nerve cells in our body from the very elementary events of a neurotransmitter binding to its receptor to how the receptors are actually organized in nerve cells and what allows nerve cells to communicate with each other, which is clearly the underpinning of pretty much all human behavior and activity. So you have this big lecture coming up. What's the grand takeaway for all of the attendees and, and run down the title and what you want everyone to walk away knowing? Well, the title is uh, From Clamshells to Clefts, and I hope that doesn't turn off people who don't like clams. <laughs> but um, what the lecture is going to be about is really the arc of the science from the beginning of my career, starting out as a junior faculty member with just a graduate student and a postdoc in the lab to where I am now and to try to communicate the discoveries that we've made, the challenges that we've faced, and some of the methods that we have developed in order to overcome those challenges and to make advances in this area. And what is the greatest advance that you're most proud of? I think when it came down to preparing for this talk, what I am most proud of is all of the trainees who have been in my lab. Uh, I looked at the list of trainees over the last 30 years and it's just absolutely staggering. Not only to know that I've had the honor of working with these people, but they have gone on to establish their independent careers, to make their own discoveries in science, and to really lead the field forward for the next generations. Well, we're here in Los Angeles, the home of cinematic blockbusters. What would you say are the profound blockbusters in your arena? I think there's no question that uh, artificial intelligence is going to have a tremendous impact on everything that we do, from learning to education to the science itself, and the role, it would, the role in which humans participate in that activity and can synergistically use artificial intelligence to further um, our advances and our understanding of the world around us. Um, and I think that on the molecular level, there is a void in our understanding at so, the so-called nanoscale and that's the scale that's in between kind of atoms and molecules and cells. There's this undiscovered land that sits at the nanoscale that I think is going to be a big part of the future. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see with all of that. Thank you for being here. Congratulations again. Thank you very much. And fun fact about the BPS lecture, in addition to presenting the annual Biophysical Society lecture, the recipient provides a molecule or figure that depicts his or her research here is the one designed by Dr. Guo. That figure is used in the backdrop designed for this year's annual meeting print and web. It is such an honor, I'm sure.